entering its eighth season on 1011 Strong, The Waltons. And we are very proud to present the father, Ralph Waite. Do you know that I interviewed Will Gear when the show first went on the air seven years ago? And he had a remarkable memory. He used to play the Chautauquas in Nebraska, you know, the Ten Circuses. Yes. He could remember towns, yes, was names good. of people. Yes. John, you've had so many real-life casualties. I mean, Will Gear is dead. Grandma had a stroke. Mm -hmm. John Boy's grown up and gone. And Mama's got tuberculosis. I'm going to start weeping here in just a minute. How can the show continue with all the people that you've lost? You know, I don't know. How, I just don't know. I thought maybe last year was our last year. But the network feels that we still have something to say and that we have a strong public out there. And I just spent, I, we had a hiatus, I spent three months traveling for the country just sort of trying to re reacquaint myself with this country, especially middle America. And I think they're right. I mean, everywhere I went, people were just delighted and they just sort of came out to meet me and I was treated like a big star everywhere I went. So there's a lot of affection for this show still. Pride, this that's the word. People take a lot of pride in that show. It's like, that's the way it should have been or that's the way we would like it to be. A moralistic mm -hmm. family who cares mm -hmm. when things were simpler. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot more of this kind of family than I was aware of after I spend most of my time either in Los Angeles, Hollywood, or New York, where people kind of, they don't look down on the show, but they kind of think, oh, isn't it nice, yeah. but it's a fairy tale. I don't think it's a fairy tale. I met a lot of people in Ohio and North Carolina and Virginia that I felt were, were a lot like the characters on the show. They were honest people who tried to mm, create a good family life and instill values in their children, and I think they're trying. I think it's maybe difficult this day and age, but I think there's a lot of people doing it. Mm -hmm. You did Five Easy Pieces with mm -hmm. Jack Nicholson, which I thought was an outstanding film, mm -hmm. and I wondered why it never received the critical acclaim that I wanted it to get. Well, it did, actually. It received... Uh, well, not the popular it didn't, appeal. It got critical acclaim, yeah. but it didn't quite, you know, it didn't reach rocky proportions. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a fine film, and it's, uh, it, was, it was a successful film. It made money, and, and that's what Hollywood likes to hear. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly everybody, everybody I know has seen it. Everywhere I go, people, especially people who love films. Yeah. You've got a film coming up, too. It's yep. called On the Nickel. Well, it was. Now it's called oh. Nickel Street. Nickel it's Street. It's just been changed again. But the thing, you wrote it, produced it, directed it, and mm. starred in it. Now, how can you do all that and be objective? You've got to love it a lot. And, uh, and I, well, that's a good question. And be objective. I got people around me who were not yes people. Mm -hmm. Uh, an editor, a woman edited this that uh, just uh, was good, had integrity and knew what she was doing. And when I felt that, that scene should stay or that scene should go, we'd fight about it. And I wanted that. I, I knew that if I, if everybody just yesed me along and, and we'd end up with a film that just is sort of my, my feelings about it, I, it would be wrong. So I got people around me who said, no, this is, that's uh, not good enough. That's, that's too long. That's, you know, and, and I think we ended up with a good film. The film's about winos? Well, it's actually about a man who spent many years on Skid Row but gets out, tries to get his life together, and has to return because he hears a friend, a dear friend of his, has died in the alleys, as winos do all the time, mm -hmm. every day. And it's his trip back and his remembrance of, of what it used to be like and his temptation to return to that. And finally, it's a victorious story. It's an up story. It's finally gets out for good. but. We get a chance to, it's a love story, really. We get a chance to know these men and their humor and their pathos and their lives. And Is this based at all on the problem you had with alcohol? Oh, yeah. I think that the reason I was attracted to that story and to that kind of milieu is because, uh, well, among other things, put it simply, I thought maybe I'd end up there one day years mm -hmm. ago. Somehow they represent uh, the most vulnerable, the most... Uh, unheard from, the most uh, pushed around people in our society, and, and they're sick, you know, but they're also human beings, and I wanted to show what it mean, what the human beings were like down there. Ralph, where did you go for help with your alcoholic problem? Did well, I went, to a, I went to a recovery uh, group. AA? Which, well, I, uh, uh, I can't talk about the group because uh, the group uh, maintains a certain, uh, insists upon anonymity. We don't oh. talk about it in press. Mm. It's part of the whole tradition of, of the group, but uh, it is a very successful and the only one I know that really can help 
um, alcoholics. Do you smoke? I'm in the process of giving up smoking. <laughs> yes, aren't we all? <laughs> well, no, I really am. I mean, I've tried everything to stop smoking. I really want to stop, and I'm finally going to smoke enders. And uh, I'm halfway through the program, and uh, I have real confidence that on the 22nd of August of this year, I will be free from the from the disease of, of nicotine. Okay, is it cold turkey, or no, do they slow no, you down? I can't do it. I've tried time and time again cold turkey. I don't have the willpower. So I need to have somebody who can bring me along. Listen, kiddo, if you've got the willpower to quit drinking, you've got the willpower to quit smoking, you've got the willpower to get this film of yours, just the well, gigantic success I need help. it deserves. One of the ways to get healthy, and if you have a problem, is to get, be willing to get help. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened with booze, and it's happened, I hope it's going to happen with, uh, with smoking. Because I'm getting help, and they tell me that in about three weeks from now, I will be free of it, and I'll feel like a free man, and I hope so. Oh, I hope so, too. Uh, Good luck. Eight more seasons, thank, at least. Thank you. Okay, thank Ralph Waite, Papa on the Waltons.